Hi, we're Scott and Kelly, and welcome to Grateful Getaways. Join us today in Kansas City as we take a streetcar from Union Station to the City Market. We'll walk to the town of Kansas Bridge. We will also walk a paved trail to a lift bridge that spans the Missouri River. We will then travel back to Union Station where we will see the most impressive model train exhibit we have ever seen. Union Station is located at 30 West Pershing Road in Kansas City, Missouri. The large parking lots make it a perfect place to park and catch the streetcar. Union Station is currently the beginning of the streetcar route, but the route is being extended. The Kansas City streetcar opened in 2016 and currently runs a 2.2 mile route from Union Station to the River Market. It is free to ride, making it convenient to park and ride, as finding a parking space near City Market can be challenging. You can catch a streetcar every 10 to 15 minutes on the route. Our choice for lunch was Pigwitch. This business began as the local pig. It was a one room butcher shop located in the East Bottoms. They decided later to add a stationary food truck and as you can guess, they named it Pigwitch. In 2019, after outgrowing its space, it moved two miles down the road to the city market. Just a fun fact, Pigwitch was featured on Food Network, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, Season 31, Episode 1, with Guy Fieri and Andy Reid. This was our first time trying Pigwitch and we enjoyed our experience and found it very good. We would definitely recommend giving it a try. At the heart of the river market is the city market. This is the largest farmers market in the region and dates back to 1857. For over 160 years, the market has given patrons a place to buy fresh produce, local products, as well as having restaurants and businesses. It is a destination in Kansas City with City Market being open 8 to 4.30 daily, all year long, and Farmer's Market every Saturday and Sunday.
Located within a short walk from the city market is the town of Kansas Bridge. This bridge actually stops before crossing the Missouri River. In 1804, Lewis and Clark passed by this area on their expedition. Eventually, this area would become Westport Landing and later named the town of Kansas. In 1889, it officially became Kansas City. At the end of the town of Kansas Bridge is the Berkeley Riverfront Park. The 17-acre park is located on the south bank of the Missouri River between the Kitbond Bridge and the Heart of America Bridge. Once a landfill for construction and debris and the former site of a sand and gravel company. A mural project has begun that will beautify the concrete walls along Berkeley Riverfront. We look forward to returning as this project progresses. The trail at Berkeley Riverfront Park is a paved trail. It is 1.3 miles and is 2.5 miles out and back. So these are replicas of the bridge counterweights, which are similar to those right up there. And it shows you the duplicate and how that mechanism works. So that's those there. And then when they draw the bridge up. After enjoying our afternoon in the city market area, we jumped aboard the streetcar and headed back to Union Station. Union Station was built in 1914 and is rich in history. After a second Kansas City flood took over the original train station that was in operation at the time, it was decided to move it to higher ground and it would be more centrally located. The Union Station is on the list of most beautiful train stations in the world. And no matter how many times you come here, you will never get over how awe-inspiring this building is. And if you're wondering, the Amtrak station is located at Union Station and operates daily. The massive north waiting room used to have 44 mahogany benches. The eight gates on each side led to stairs that took passengers to the trains below.
And now you can see behind these gates is Science City. Union Station offers exhibits and today we are visiting the Model Rail exhibit. This exhibit was impressive and I will just say Scott was so happy he decided this was all for him for Father's Day. Obviously Father's Day. Even though we were actually celebrating our son Kyer's birthday. Oh well, it made him happy. In addition to the exhibits, Union Station offers Science City, the Planetarium, Extreme Screen Theater, and there is also world-class touring exhibits that will change periodically. The Railway Post Office exhibit is on our way out to the parking lot. The exhibit is located inside the current post office and features the tools of the daily trade used by railway post office workers, including an original electric cart that dates back to 1918. It was used to transport mail to and from the rail cars at Union Station. Even after the railway mail service discontinued, a former railway postal worker could be identified by the way they swayed when they sorted the mail. Thank you for joining us today as we explored Kansas City. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you so desire, subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you.